This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 18th of July. I'm James Spann. Weather looking a little unsettled for the rest of this week. A good chance of more beneficial rain. We'll always take that here in midsummer because this is a time when it can be so hot and so dry here. Uh, let's look at some of the image, images first off from uh, yesterday. I thought that was an amazing shot. That was from the Great Smoky Mountains. A, a big thunderstorm cluster blowing in there. And how about this one? That was Rosemary Beach, Florida remarkable shelf cloud that is no photoshop job that's the way it actually was and early this morning uh this image was taken about uh, 2 a.m around reese city not too far from gadsden as uh, that big storm was lighting up the sky in basically three states you could see that one from alabama tennessee and georgia but this morning it's calm there's the chiha sky cam you can get except to see a little daylight there in the eastern horizon down in Chilton County, there's the Clanton City Hall, and there's the lights of the city of Gadsden at the insane hour of 5 a.m. All right, got a little upper-level feature southeast of here, little tut, tropical upper tropospheric trough, aiding in the formation of showers and storms. That little weakness aloft will uh, help us uh, kind of be cloudy-ish and wet at times through Friday. There's the radar. That's at 5.07 this morning, and that's what's left of the big storm that's been moving slowly southwest from Chattanooga during the early morning hours. Uh, light rain falling in parts of Marshall, Blunt, Etowah counties. And again, uh, we'll see more showers and storms firing up later today. Worst of the heat is north and west of Alabama, from Kansas, Oklahoma, up toward uh, uh, Chicago and Indianapolis, and also around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. They're baking. But we had highs only around 90 in most spots yesterday. Heat advisories continue north of here, where the weather is so hot. But a cold front's coming down from the north. It could be pretty uh, pretty rough weather up there. Pennsylvania, over to Boston, back over to Cleveland today. And around here, we got those low-end 5% probabilities for strong storms that could flare with some small hail and uh, strong gusty winds. And then tomorrow, standard slight risk uh, around the Ohio River in advance of that front. Rain for the next five days, looking pretty good. This is valid through Sunday evening through the weekend. 2.3 inches, the bullseye. Goodness, some people had that just yesterday down in southeast Alabama. And uh, again, uh, showers will thin out this weekend, but uh, really for the next three days, we'll have a lot of showers and storms around. And the tropics, goodness, it's so quiet out there. The air is very dry, uh, a lot of Sahara dust, and uh, just nothing happening, which is good. We'll check the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars. If you look carefully in the wind field, you can see that little upper feature just to the south and east. And again, that should mean uh, scattered to numerous showers and storms today. I think the NAM's got a better handle on temperatures. They've got a high of 90. Uh, tomorrow, good chance of showers and storms. The NAM is at 89. And on Friday, same deal. A lot of clouds, occasional showers and storms. High around 90. Some spots not getting out of the 80s. But over the weekend, the heights begin to come up. That's Saturday. Of course, we've got that blazing 594 heat west of here. But the upper feature kind of fizzles out, and the showers should begin to thin out on Saturday. We'll still see sh uh, scattered showers and storms around, just not as many. And pretty much the same deal Sunday as we trend toward increasing amounts of sunshine and fewer showers. And there's Monday of next week, and you can see how the heights are definitely up. you got uh, 594 contours uh, northwest and southeast of here, and still a little weakness. But showers, it looks like, should be pretty widely spaced. Same thing Tuesday, and then... Maybe a slight bump by Wednesday of next week. So for now, first half of next week looks typical midsummer. We'll check the end of the forecast August 2nd as the summer of 2012 is blowing by so fast. Same story, the, the, the worst of the heat out west, general troughing over the east, and again, that suggests no nasty runaway heat. Pretty typical summer conditions for us, if that's right, and I think it is. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.